The feedback path also affects the active output resistance, and to see this, we construct a Thevenin equivalent circuit using the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current. First, we note this expression here. VO is equal to K divided by 1 plus K plus A times VS. And that's basically the open circuit voltage. So VOC is equal to VO, which is equal to K divided by 1 plus K divided by A times VS. Now we need to calculate the short circuit current in which we place a short at the output. When we do this, that means that Vn is equal to zero when we do a short circuit current. Now that leaves our input voltage Vp minus Vn just to equal to be Vp. So Vp is equal to Vs since Vp is connected to Vs and therefore the short circuit current Isc is simply A times Vp minus Vn divided by RO. Now we substitute Vn for equal to zero and Vp equal to Vs and that yields AVS over RO. Now we calculate our Thevenin equivalent based on these two parameters VOC and ISC because we know that RT is equal to the ratio of VOC divided by ISC. And in this case, we have K in the numerator 1 plus K, all this divided by A. We take this quantity and make that the numerator since that's VOC. And the short circuit is A VS divided by RO. And we need to put VS here also in the numerator. So we see that VS cancels out and we're left with RT is equal to K over A divided by 1 plus K over A times R O. Now as R T will equal to as A approaches infinity when A approaches infinity this reduces to K over A because K over A is much much bigger than 1 times RO or this approximately equal to 0 ohms. So the op amp circuit with feedback has an output Thevenin resistance that is much smaller than the op output Thevenin resistance of the op amp device itself. So with feedback applied to this op amp circuit we reduce the output resistance of RO which is already small to almost zero ohms when we apply feedback to this op amp circuit. Now at this point we can summarize our discussion where we introduce the op amp as an active five terminal device which includes two supply terminals which is not normally shown on the circuit diagram. We then develop an ideal model of this device that is used to analyze and design circuits that have feedback. Feedback must be presented for the device to operate in the 
linear mode. The most dramatic feature of the ideal model is the assumption of infinite gain. And using a finite gain model, we found that the ideal model property predicts the circuit input and output relationship quite closely as long as the circuit gain k is much smaller than the op amp gain. That is, when we did the output resistance, we assumed that k is much, much smaller than the open loop gain, where k is our feedback gain and a, in other words, our closed loop gain versus our open loop gain. We also discovered that the Thevenin output resistance of an output of the op amp circuit with feedback is essentially zero. Now the rest of the book will use the IV, IV characteristics, constraints that are ideal to analyze op amp circuits. The op amp circuits have essentially zero output resistance, which means that the output voltage does not change with different loads, which is a good thing. So unless otherwise stated, from now on the op-amp refers to the ideal model.